Hello YouTube and welcome to That's Not My Neighbor, a game that has been made by I don't know, I just I just I saw it and I was like, let me play this game. So let's just let's just play the I have no idea anything about this game. I just know this is English, Espanol, and I guess Chinese. Uh let's just click English and just get into the get into the game. Warning, this video contains flashing lights that are characters and entities present are frictionless and you're not resemble and it just, it's just a coincidence. You think I would know that line by now, but I don't. Oh. Okay. It's got this kind of thing. Uh, click to continue. Sure. 1.2.0.2. Uh, you can't see that, but hopefully I'm not blocking anything. But if I am, I'll fix that. Hopefully, if I remember, play, record. Is it like record, actually? Options and quit. What's the options? Okay. Okay. Alvarado. Ooh, I like your name, sir. That's a nice name. Godot four. Uh oh. There's some there's been some stuff about that Godot thing, but anyway. <laughs> there's, there's been some talk about the Godot. Uh oh. Uh oh. I hope this dude is okay. Okay, anyway, let's just let's just play. That's not my neighbor. Three three one two February nineteen fifty five. It's the tenth. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just click play. Oh. Arcade mode. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run. Get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance. Possibility to find and complete the Chester's quiz. Nightmare mode. Not recommended for new players. The doppelgangers kill you immediately after you let them in. Wait, something is wrong with the neighbors. Chester's is back. Chester is back and it's evil. I don't even know what that is. Endless mode. Same as nightmare mode, but there was a score for the days you survived. Ooh. Score is saved each time you complete a day and resets if you die. Ooh, I like that. Camp pain mode the game is saved at the end of each day if a neighbor is eliminated they will not appear in the following days if a doppelganger enters it will eliminate the neighbors of the corresponding apartment the campaign lasts seven days that's a lot of modes though endless campaign mode Ooh. Um, let's just do arcade for now and then maybe I'll make a video for each one of these as we go Let's just do arcade and then we'll do nightmare and then endless We'll do an endless run and then we'll do the campaign. So if you want to see more endless runs, make sure you leave a like on this video, but I Mean this is campaign mode this campaign mode teach you the teach you the the game though I don't know if campaign mode teaches you the game because it's on the bottom it's not on the top. Usually whatever's on the top is what teaches you the game. Hmm. Let's just do, we'll do an arcade run. We're going to do an arcade run. See what happens. You don't get punished for messing something up. So let's just do arcade and then maybe we'll do the campaign mode after if we have time. Well, if we have time, we'll do the campaign mode after. F it. Let's just click play. Oh shit, I clicked on the wrong one. Is this going to teach us the game by chance? Let's skip. I'm inclined to click it. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational purposes. Okay. Can't see. Okay. Hello, if you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in our in your building. Not our building, in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. Okay. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. Okay. But some are not too good at it and could generate imperfections. I like that drawing. That's a good dis You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Okay. How can you put an oh, also remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor? How can you have a I could have swear you had a U in the beginning of this game. You can't miss any details because it could mean the death for you and your neighbors. Oh. This is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works. Okay. 
Here is a security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. Okay. I might want to change that color to something more brighter, but... On the right, you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to their rep respective floor. Okay, I was going to say representative, but respective. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Okay. If I click, will it skip? I don't want it to do that. Receive documents from this hatch. I'm going to clip and see what happens. Nothing happened. Okay. <laughs> I want it to go faster. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Okay. Open, close. Okay. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 33212. Okay. This looks like a... A PlayStation kind of console thing going on there. To communicate with DDD or any apartment in your building, use a telephone in front of you. Okay. One of those old-fashioned telephones that has a little... I remember those. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Yeah, those kind of phones just got taken down. I and mean, we started using those, like... I think the wired phones. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. Good job. Congratulations, Henry. It wasn't that he did an excellent job. Oh. But he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. Well, I mean, that's an that's a good job, Henry. Didn't die. Look at that. That's that's the whole goal. Be like Henry, but better. Okay. <laughs> good job, Henry. Henry's that guy from um, Ratatouille. He reminds me of that guy. Oh, yeah. See, it is one of those phones. These phones just. Oh. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. Thanks, man. As you could see in the introduction film, introductory film, your job is to verify the entry of the neighbors of your building. Okay. Oh, each day there will be a list of individuals who will request entry to the building. Why do you got a little T through that? I like that. I ain't gonna lie. It is possible that there are individuals who request entry and are not on the list. Okay. In which case you will mark on the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question the individual. Okay. I would like, uh, also you must verify that the ID and the entry requests are correct and have the respective DDD logo. Don't forget to also check the expiration on the IDs. It's February 1955. Yes, I see that right there. I, I saw that. I wish you good luck. Okay, thank you, sir. DDD. Mm. Destruction, demolition, and I don't know, destroy. I don't know. Anyway, back to my story. These were just... Oh, god dang it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am a wilderness explorer. I don't know that whole... I would tell you, but I don't know that whole thing. It was going to be funny. Anyway, well, I'm just trying to warm up to the new guys, man. I'm just trying to warm up to these guys. Sir, where is... Where is your entry request? I forgot to show my request. Here it is. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's get down to business. So I got to check the ID. Steven Rudboys, 565845544. 559650201966 which is above the 1955 so that checks out um you got the hair you got the glasses you got the big honky nose you got the badge and the eye okay you must be a military kind of guy i seen uh, jinxie with that kind of hair he doesn't pull off as good as you do though you make it look you make it look good jinxie's uh yeah how do i know what floor you live on oh wait Entry request, Stephen Rudd Boys. Okay, F05-03, oh, that's the apartment number. There's no fifth floor. It's th I'm gonna assume that three is the, thir is the third floor. And I don't know what F05 oh, is. I'm a resident of the building and come from my job as a pilot. Oh, you're a pilot, oh, even better. So third floor. Okay, I don't see an F05. Oh, I don't see an F05, oh, sir. F05-03. I see an F04. F0303. Mmm. F05-03. F03-03. Big nose, wear glasses, short hair, small head. Mmm. Can I grab the check? Oh, here we go. Yep. ID is ID is good. The appearance is good. The entry request is not good. I didn't even check if he's on the list. He's not even on the list. Let's let's question him on the list. Hold up. You're not even on the list, sir. I'm not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. Okay. Is there a way to call the apartments? 
Let's question the entry request because it's not right. I already answered your question. Okay, you didn't answer it the way that I wanted you to, though. Uh, apartment phone number 4242. Can I call the apartment? Okay, so just, just like this. Okay, four, two, four, two. It's ringing. I did it right. Steven speaking. My father and I are in the apartment right now. We are not expecting any visitors today. I'll be right with you, sir. Nope. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Get this motherfucker out of here. See ya! That entry request was questionable because I didn't have the right floor number on it. You have contacted the DDD. Can I, can I skip this? A group of agents has been sent to your building. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. Okay, because he's in here. He's not murdering nobody, but he's in here. He's in here. Now what? Okay. Cleaning protocol completed. Thank you, sir. DDD. You can continue your job. All right. So far, so good. I got I got one doppelganger the fuck out of here. One out of here. Who's next? Who wants to go to jail, prison? What in the fuck? Hello? Mm, hello. Yeah, nah. I ain't even gonna check. <laughs> I ain't even gonna check. Get him the hell out of here. <laughs> nah. Hell nah. <laughs> uh, uh, can I skip this? Okay. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. Yeah, the milkman became the blood man. See ya. <laughs> I ain't even gonna check. I ain't even gonna check. I don't care. Who's next? There we go. A normal looking person. Good afternoon. Gave me the ID and the entry request. Nice. Okay. Be right with you, ma'am. Uh, are you on the list? Gloria Schmitz. Okay. No Z. I don't know why I said it with a Z. It's just came off that way. I apologize. Uh, Gloria Schmitz. Let's see. Gloria Schmitz. Okay. 04 1974. Got it. Uh, FO2 01. I'm a resident of the building. I came from my job as a banker. Oh, you're a banker. Ooh, you dress like a banker. You need like more of a. No, you no, you could. I lied. You kind of dress like a banker. I lied. FO2 01. Let's see. Oh, you live with this dude. Ooh, this dude looks fancy too. Round face, mole on right cheek, short hair, round nose. Round face, mole on right cheek, short hair. Did it say big nose? Round nose. Oh. <laughs> uh, round nose. True. Yep. This is correct. Mm-hmm. Everything on here matches. Okay. Okay. So far, ID and appearance are good. The request, entry request, is F02-01. That is where she lives. Okay. Entry request. Also good. And she is on the list. Let me just make a phone call real quick. I don't think I let this person in, but I'm going to just call it because I totally can. Five, one, two, three. It's best to get into the habit of, of this. Five, one, two, three. Ring, ring. Cable guy. That's a good movie, by the way. Oh. Arnold Schmitz speaking. I don't know why. My wife is not at home. Okay. Is she back? She might be. She might be. I mean, ma'am, everything seems to be in order. So is everything in order? I just told you everything is in order. Can you open the door? I'm going to just fucking push this button. Don't make me push this goddamn button right now, ma'am. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Very civil and respectful, okay? Just because it's, on my, this, just because it's my first day doesn't mean you can boss me around. But you're good to go, ma'am. Have a nice day. Adios. All right. Is this closed by itself? No. <laughs> okay. It does not close by itself and they will walk through. Got it. All right. Well, that's that's probably one on the check. Oh, you were just here, but you were all bloody before. Mm, hello. You wash the blood off of you and come back, sir? You're trying to make attempt number two? Because I would respect you for that. You might not want to go in there, though, because I just let somebody in just for a test to see what would happen. And he might be killing everybody in there. And you are the milk... Dad? <laughs> you are the milkman. So, um... You might not want to go in there. Anyway, let's see the idea. Francis Moses is he on today's list. 
Uh, he is F03-02. 23556941895. Got it. Uh, which is that person went in. So if that, I hope really that's him because I have no idea. That's not even the right freaking thing. He's on the third floor. Francis Moses, 23556941895. 23556941895. That's perfect. Okay, so that checks out. 6941. Yeah, that checks out. Yep. I'm just second getting a long nose, thin shin, tired eyes, short hair, and wears a hat. Everything seems to be in order there. Everything seems to be in order there. Um There's nobody in your apartment, so uh yes he is complete. Perfect. You're so welcome. Mm, the door. Mm, the door. F03-02. Now, now you acting like that. Now it's suspicious. Now you suspicious. F03-02. Now you just acting suspicious. This is good. 23556941. 8995. I'm open the door. Mm, I just, sir, we got to talk about your mm before we get the sentences. Because if you say mm, I'm going to assume you're hungry, okay? The last guy that came in here was bloody. And he said mm, human. And I said, fuck that. But you can go. You seem to be good. Good job, sir. I didn't do the checklist. Oh, well. I didn't do the... Perfect. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello, sir. How you doing today? Dr. W. W. Afton, 250-489-656214-03-1971. That checks out. You are on the list. Do Dr. W. Afton, F03-01. K. A F T O N. That checks out. I don't even know if that's a thing, but it checks out. Can I see your uh, entry request? Here is my entry request. Thank you, sir. Dr. W. Afton, F03-01. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a site. Physicist. They make some good money, by the way. Physicist. Uh, you are on the third floor. Who do you live with? Mia Stone. Robust eyebrows, wear glasses, short hair, round nose, square head. Mm-hmm. That I mean everything there seems to kind of check out. Yeah, everything there seems to check out. Check, check. Hair. Nice hair, by the way. Mm-hmm. Everything seems to check out there. What if I call 1425? Let's call the apartment. You can never be too careful, McCoy. 1425. Hello? Wing, wing, who is it? <clears throat> it's me. Mia speaking. My fiance is not home. Got it. I mean, everything checks out to me. Everything checks out to me. I'm pretty sure I checked this number, but I'm going to double check it just in case. 2504-896-56. Checks out. You can go ahead, sir. Check. Everything is in order. There you go, sir. Got to make sure I hit that button. You're welcome, sir. Got to make sure I hit that button. Otherwise, people just want to walk on by. Hi. Hello. You ain't even on the list, sir. What's up with that? I'm not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. Okay. Robert Ski Peachman. F01-02. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a shoemaker. Okay. F01-02. 1973. Robertsky Peachman. That seems to be in order. So he lives in F F01-02. Oh wait, that's the second floor. What am I done? No, I'm, I was right the first time. Two six six eight. Let's do this. Two six six eight. We win. Albertski speaking. My brother is not at home. Albertski speaking. He's not home. 
Let's check the IDs real quick. F01 dash, I don't know why I keep doing that. F01 dash 02, 114 114652289730, Everything seems to be in order, sir. You have a good day. Enjoy your stay here at the hotel. That's not even a hotel. Just go, go the fuck home. Get the fuck out of here. You're disrupting me. Didn't I just let you in? Didn't I just let you in, ma'am? F02-01. Let's just check to see if I let the wrong fucking person in. <laughs> Gloria Schmidt. Okay. She is on the page. I'm, I just let her in. I just let her in. Hopefully I didn't let a freaking stranger into the apartment because that would suck. Uh, let's just check. This is fine. Let's check the numbers. She lives in F02-01. F02-01. I just let her in. 698522. 698522. 3411150. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But I just let somebody in. Five one two three. Speaking. Are in the apartment right now. You're not expecting any visitors today. Okay, ma'am. Um, everything seems to be in order. Yeah. So you're. Uh, Everything's in order, ma'am. Don't. Oh, can't open the goddamn door. You can open up that, bitch. Open up that right in your fucking face. Hell no. Get her out of here. Get her. If 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 no one answered that phone, I would've been real sad. <laughs> uh skip. Cleaning protocol completed. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Can you tell me if that person was legit or not? Because, all right. I mean, I let. She looked really close to. Hello, you look fucking sexy. Are you are you single? Illinois, are you on the list? No, you're not on the list. Ma'am, you're not on the list. Why are you not on the list? I am not on today's list, question mark. There must be a mistake. I should be on the list. You don't even have an explanation? Look at the list. Don't tell me how to do my fucking job. All right, I'll put this fucking list down. I'll put the list. That wasn't even a list. That was my checklist. But I'm putting all the lists down. The lists are going on the freaking table, okay? What floor do you live on? F01-04, which is the first floor. 6996. 6, 9, 9, 6. Ring, bing. Illinois vert speaking. My sister and I are in the apartment right now. We are not expecting any visitors today. Okay, ma'am. Everything seems to be in order. Get the fuck out of here. Everything's not in order. But the order of pizza after this is going to be great. Doing my job so good. I'm about to be employee of the month, Henry. You better watch out. Not skip. Thank you, sir. Continue your job. Thank you, sir. Man, you're so good at that. You're so speedy and quick. So speedy, so quick. Mm. Hello? Didn't I just let you in? Didn't I just let you in, sir? Let's do the, the quick the quick answer. F01-02. Do the quick answer. 2668. Hello? Oh. Peak Peachman speaking. My brother and I are in the apartment right now. We are not expecting any visitors today. I just want to see some. 1973. He's not even on the list. How do I, how could I tell if it's not the same person? Robertsky Peachman. Robertsky Peachman. Maybe the ID. Let's just. I just. I'm, I know this is probably a doppelganger, but one one four six five two two. 
6522 Well, how am I supposed to know if it's a doppelganger or not? It probably is, because I just, I just let somebody in who didn't have a problem at all. But, I mean, I would let this person in, too. He doesn't seem to be have any... Doesn't seem to have any flaws at all. He has literally no flaws. Well, hopefully I let the right person in earlier. See you later, sir. Hopefully I let the right person in earlier. <laughs> Uh-oh. That person didn't have any flaws that I saw. I don't know. Skip. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. Thank you, sir. Thank you again. There's a lot of doppelgangers coming in here. There can't be every single doppelganger coming up in here. That's just some crazy shiznads. I'm not even going to lie. I let somebody in. Was it the random guy that I let in? Four. One neighbor got killed. One Doppler I allowed in. B. Wh who was it? Gloria Smith. Fake documents? How did she have fake Well, it's good to know that the person I just randomly let walk in was not a doppelganger. <laughs> but, but how did she have fake documents? It looks so good. Oh, they look so clean, though. Damn. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am a wilderness explorer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you. I don't know. Who's you're on the list? Mia Stone. F03-01. Mia Stone. Okay. Mia Stone F03-01. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is on the first floor. You are on the list. Let's check the ID. Uh, I totally forget what the freaking number was. That's how I roll. What what, what was the number again, ma'am? I'm sorry. I, st I'm stupid. F03-01. Isn't it the first floor? No, it's the third floor. Okay. Ooh, you live with this guy. Got it. One, four, two, five. I'm not, I'm not going to bother calling because she's not home. Thin eyebrows, oval face. She has freckles, small round nose, long hair. So, uh, long hair, small round nose. Long hair. Mm-hmm. Small round nose. Mm-hmm. She has freckles, oval face. She got the freckles. She got that oval going on. Thin eyebrows. Got that thin going. Okay. Seems to be in order there, ma'am. Me a stone. Oh, I didn't check this. I gotta check your number. Seven nine seven eight nine five six four. Five two five one one five. Five two five one one five. Everything seems to be in order. Uh, you can go on through, ma'am. I see nothing wrong with you. Excellent. I see nothing wrong with you. Go on ahead. You're welcome, ma'am. Nothing wrong with that person that I saw. Uh-oh. What's up? You got a nice mustache. Good afternoon. I'm not gonna say the. I'm not gonna say the joke again. As much as I want to. You ain't even on the list. Let's get this out of the way. I'm on today's list. I think there is an error. I should be on the list. Okay, thanks. Look at the list again. Please don't tell me to do my job, sir. Okay? Don't tell me to do my job. What floor do you live on? F02-01. Okay. 5123. 5123. Let's see if he's home. Gloria Smith speaking. My husband is not at home. Oh, okay. Not at home. Okay. I think I already checked this, but I'm going to check it again. Arnold Smith. Arnold Smith. Okay. I mean, he put his ID down right away, so let's just go through the FO2-01. Let's go through the numbers. I don't know if I did that or not. 7785662177856621 Everything seems to be in order here, sir. Um Big eyebrows, prominent mustache, where's a hat, round face, short hair. Everything seems to go on through, sir. Everything seems to be in order. I don't know why I didn't check. Check. Every everything's good. <laughs> anyway, 
Good afternoon. Damn, you got you look like some kind of mafia thing going on here. Are you on the list? Roman Stillin Stillinski. Got it. Roman Stillinski. Got it. Let's check your number. 4839 2405. 4839 That seems to be good. Okay. Okay. Everything here seems to be in order, sir. Yes, everything is in order. Go on through. You're welcome, sir. If I die, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad. Who the fuck is this? Hello. Are you on the list? You are on Lois Stilinski. Oh, it's it's the okay. Lois Stilinski. Lois Stilinski. Okay. 1969. Nice. I'm a resident of the building. I went out to visit my mother. Okay. F01-01. We're not gonna bother calling because I just let him in, so. There's a good chance that these two might not be doppelgangers. Uh, she is a housewife. She went out to visit her mother. So if she said it was for a job, she'd be lying right there. So it's not a lie. She's a housewife. She went to visit her mom. Okay. Let's check the numbers. 8946972365123651. Everything there seems to be checked out. Um... Big lips, mole on left cheek. You ain't got a mole on your left cheek, ma'am. Where's your mole? Where's your mole, ma'am? Mole's about to be with the motherfucking DDD. You're about to get dunked on. Downright dunked on. I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to... And I couldn't. Leaning protocol completed. Thank you. Thank you. You can continue your job. Thanks. Awesome. That was a that was a hundred percent doppelganger. She did not have that mole on her cheek. You think you can just get in here and fly by with that shit? Uh uh, uh uh. Good afternoon. I I wish I knew the whole line. I would totally say it, but every time I'd say it, I wouldn't even care. You ain't even on the list, sir. What's up with that? Not on today's list. I think there is an error. I should be on the list. Thanks. Thanks for your awesome look at the list. Don't tell me how to do my job. I will just press this button for literally no reason, sir. Don't think I won't. I have the power. Okay. You're behind a screen, trying to talk shit, and I have the power to tell you to fuck right off. Right here. Don't make me press it, because I totally will. Can I close it? Okay. <laughs> I want to press that shit by accident. That would suck. <laughs> Alf Caput Caput Capucci Capucci Capu Whatever. Not on the list, so I can't even check it. That's right. Alf Capuchin. Capuchin. I'm going to just say Capuchin. F03-04. <sighs> right here. Uh 4258. Let's call and just make sure. I already forgot what the phone number was. And I don't even have I don't even have the list. I forgot. F03-04. 4258. 4258. One second, sir. One second. I gotta make a phone call. One second. Alf speaking. Oh! My wife and I are in the apartment right now. You're not expecting any visitors. Okay, so you're expecting your husband to come home soon? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Listen, sir. Uh, you're good to go. Perfect. Oh, get the fuck out of here. No, I can't open the damn door. Get the frig out of here. Get out of here. You think you thought. Get lost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hell no. Get on out of here. Who do you think I am? Hello? Okay. Leading protocol completed. You can continue your job. Thank you, sir. Man, you're so fast. How do you do that? I'm gonna just push that button because I totally can. <laughs> Good afternoon. You got grills going on there? Or something? It looks like you got some grills going on. What do you like? One of them? I can't say what I wanted to say on the on the thing. Uh, McClue Rudd Boys. Mick Louie. Mick Louie Rudd Boys. Okay, 1958. Okay, well, no, we're still good on that. Mick Louie Rudd Boys, FO3 03. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is uh, the third floor. Okay, and he is on the list right there. Okay, let me just make sure that we're in FO3 03. Make sure that we get all our bases covered. He's retired, okay? 
nine six four five one six nine six four five one six one eight four six one 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 eight four six one one everything there seems to be in order let me just make sure that your appearance is correct has a mustache big nose mustache big nose has a goatee he does have a goatee he's wearing it right there smokes always wears a hat well how come he's not wearing a hat here he has a hat on that's true and he does have a cigar in his mouth always wears a hat he doesn't have a hat on in this picture though you lying already game you're lying to me already game he's retired uh everything here seems to be okay sir um you can you can go go right on ahead yep everything's in order there you go sir have a nice day next who's next to get dunked on and dipped out ah, you have the mole on your cheek you seem to be legitimate so far this is good this is good you keep doing this you might get in even if you are a doppelganger i ain't even gonna lie eight nine four five six nine seven two three six five one i'm not gonna remember that entire number i don't know what floor she lives on so <laughs> lois stilinski okay lois stilinski 69 she is on the list okay yes minimize that lois stilinski f01-01 visit my mother okay f01-01 Big lips, mole on left cheek, round face, short hair. I don't know if this is short hair, but you can you can say it's short hair. I disagree with you wholeheartedly. But uh, okay, that seems to be that seems to be kind of correct there. So yeah, we'll just pretend that it is okay. Everything seems to be in order there. Let's check the number eight nine four five six nine seven. Eight nine four five six nine seven two three six five one two three six five one perfect. She is on the list. Everything seems to be in order, ma'am. You're good to go. Congratulations. This checklist doesn't really need to be. It doesn't even need to be done, to be honest. But there it is. Who's next? Nah. Nope. <laughs> Get, get that fucker out of here. That was so bad. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. That guy tried. <laughs> Thank you. Who's next? <laughs> I do need to put some work on that shit. Oh, we're done. Oh, we didn't die either. Look at that. Wow. We didn't even die. Three doppels captured. No neighbors killed. No Dopplers allowed in. Rank? Yes. Yes. We did it so good. So perfectly. I'm employee of the month now, Henry. Get the fuck out of here. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature. And it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling weird. I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear. Sometimes it could be a little.